If you're looking to add virtual joystick controls to your game, the Virtual Joystick Pack is an asset in the Unity Store that allows you to set up joystick controls in less than 5 minutes. To use the Virtual Joystick asset in your project, first find the Virtual Joystick Pack on the Assets Store, then click Add to My Assets. Then go to the Package Manager, My Assets, and import the asset. Once the asset is imported, head to the Virtual Joystick folder and look for the Prefabs folder. In here, you will find different types of joysticks that you can use for your project's needs. And if you would like more joystick designs, you can also purchase our asset pack that contains over 250 different joystick and button designs. To use the joystick, first drag the prefab into a canvas object in your scene. You can then position your joystick, and then customize some settings like the radius or the dead zone of your joystick. To read input from the joystick, first import the TerraSquall namespace by typing using TerraSquall at the top of your script. With that, instead of the usual get access method from Unity, you can instead call the get access from the virtual joystick. This will function the same way as Unity's get access, and it will automatically detect the joystick that you have in your scene. As you can see, the joystick now controls our player. If you would like to use multiple joysticks to control different things, you can add another joystick prefab and assign it a unique ID. After that, add the ID of the joystick you want to read behind the axis in your get axis call. And with that, you can now easily use your joysticks to control two different objects in your scene. Note that the joystick works on touch screens with multi-touch and when using Unity's new input system as well. As long as you have the canvas, the joystick will work. Additionally, check out the joystick guide on this URL to learn about the advanced features of the joystick. This joystick can be configured to do a large number of things, 